If the Denver Broncos wanted to get faster and more explosive on offense, there weren't many other receivers who could do that more than KJ Hamler out of Penn State. The explosive playmaker just turned 21 on July 8th, and he has the potentially long career ahead of him. He entered the NFL through Penn State, where he didn't have the best quarterbacks to work with. His college tape is filled with explosive plays showing his speed and playmaking ability. In two years, he had 98 catches, over 1,600 yards, and 13 touchdowns as a receiver, and another touchdown as a rusher. One of the biggest knocks on Hamler is his hands and how inconsistent they can be with drops, due to bad technique and poor focus. He also is a little small, limiting him to the slot in the NFL. His explosive play ability is highlighted by his 16.9 yards per reception he averaged in college. He can take short catches and make something happen, or attack the safeties deep down the field. There is another way for Hamler to make a huge impact in the NFL, and that is as a returner, something he did really well at in college. The speed is there for it, but he also has the size to get lost in the chaos of returns. While he could be used as a returner in 2020, that may not be in the cards with the coaches wanting him to focus on offense and also improving his hands that saw as many drops as they did. Adding Hamler to Jerry Judy, Cortland Sutton, and Noah Fant gives an element to this offense that makes defensive coordinators even more perplexed on figuring out how to slow them down. They are a group of weapons that can attack defenses in so many ways and fully take advantage of the spacing that Pat Shermer wants to create for his receivers via the scheme. There's a lot for Hamler to work on before being a good receiver in the NFL, let alone a great one. However, the traits he has will create an impact on offense even without getting the ball to his hands. For Mile High Huddle and Sports Illustrated, I'm Eric Trickle.